I call it absorption because it's not interstellar exploration. A lot of it is already explored. At least the things that we'll initially be exposed to is already documented, uh, known for a long time. It's already been scientifically uh, utilized, applied to, etc. So we're going to be absorbed initially into different confederations or rather alliances of civilizations that are um, of fourth density or higher in most cases. And we will be taught a lot. There will be a new type of education. There will be a very exciting type of school, which is the school of life itself, the school of creation itself, the school of our galaxy itself. And so we will start to be taught in these matters, in these facts. And the truth of our history, which is far more weird than you might think presently, than you read in the history books in the slave system that we call school, mandatory school as it is now, um, don't put your kids in school, even if it's illegal, just don't do it. Unless they really want to, obviously. And for many, it is a very relevant experience, and it is very helpful, and it is very exciting. But there's a lot of kids that don't want this, that don't want this, and they literally make themselves sick to not go to school, okay? They literally postpone their lives because they have to go to school. It's a slave system, okay? There is a law that is highest, which is free will. There's no government that could ever take this away. There's no entity, there's no legalities that could ever take this away. Free will is paramount. Now, I'm not saying not to be smart about it, um, but what one of the exciting things we're going to realize is that this civilization and the way it's structured and the governmental structure is going to completely be turned inside out. Okay? There's going to be a coup. There's going to be a revolution where we, the beings, gain so much more freedom and information and knowledge and awareness and possibilities and exciting options to follow, exciting breadcrumb tra trails that we weren't ever even aware of, where we really start to feel like we are our own governance. We are the law. I mean, it sounds dangerous, but it's been made to sound dangerous for a reason, because they don't want you to realize it. But you have to understand that you are the law. Now, yes, realize this from a very profound place of love and wisdom, because it can be abused. But realize, open your eyes, okay, open your eyes. This is a man-made world that you've, that you've been taught and conditioned to perceive. Almost any single concept, any random thought you have at any given day is, <laughs> is given to you, okay? And they want it that way. It's part of the play, okay? And you want it that way because you like to be a baby. You like to be spoon-fed, you like to be taken care of, you like to make sure you're all right 40 years from now. You know, you are afraid. I'm speaking to people in general. You are scared little toddlers that have never fully grown up past the first chakra response. Okay? Fear of survival, ensuring survival. And because we're so afraid, because we are not mature in that way, we are highly, highly manipulative. Highly manipulative. We're so manipulative that we won't realize we're manipulated. Okay? This is, again, why this information is relevant. You need to wake up to the structures that exist around you with love and excitement in your heart. None of this is pointing fingers. If anything, I'm pointing fingers at you and myself for allowing, tolerating that level of laziness and being taken care of. Why do people want to be taken care of so much? I don't get it. You're powerful. You're free. You're the only one that creates your reality, that chooses which parallel reality you experience. Everything you experience is your own subjective consciousness energy projected into the sphere of beingness that you are, of eternity. Why would you generate the illusion within your sphere of governance, within your creation, that there is another entity that exists independent from your own experience that somehow needs to take care of you and when they don't, you complain and you vote for the other candidate? Uh, while both candidates are usually, not always, put in place for you. It's a show, okay? So if you think you're choosing for the, that particular party, <laughs> you're not. Okay, you're not choosing for anything but control, right? Either way, either way, you're fucked. Fuck the system, okay? Let it take care of itself. Let it, co let it collapse. Stop participating in the hypnotism. Stop feeding the system. Start making it, start making it understand that it's losing control even more rapidly. Rat race is, is the perfect resemblance of where we are at as a people. We are ready for change. We are ready for self-governance. We are ready to recreate our civilization from the people, by the people, for the people. We are ready for a government that is 
nothing more but a body of administration that truly represents the people and is represented by the people, not by certain groups. That's what we're ready for. That's what we are going to create over the next 20 years, gradually. But this year <laughs> will be an epic year of change, transformation, and shock and awe. So this is a very exciting year. Next year is also going to be very exciting. Don't worry.